Hey guys, welcome to part two of my add-on settings. This is going to be a guide on Teos group tools. This add-on can be quite intimidating when you first install it. There's a lot of boxes that appear on your screen. So it's more kind of going through the settings and deciding what ones you actually want to use and what ones you don't. When you first install, you'll have all these kind of red boxes hidden up in the top left hand side of your screen. They're all giving you useful information, but whether it's kind of useful to what you're actually doing, it's up to you to decide what you want to use or not. So the main kind of windows that you'll see is that you can track certain buffs. So for example, you can track your speed, earth core, if you're using earth core sets, you can track purges, detonations, ultimates. You have a UI tooltip that kind of shows you the health, food, um, ultimate progress and things for all your party members. And again, you've got a heal and DPS meter in there as well. So it's down to you kind of what aspects of the add-on that you want to use and which ones you don't want to. So the first thing you'd want to do is ignore all the red boxes on your screen and go straight into the settings. What I'll do is I'll go through my settings very quickly. Um, if you want to copy these, it's completely up to yourself. But please do have a look through the settings and decide for yourself kind of what you want to use and what you don't. So these are my settings for tracking ultimates. Um, not much change from the kind of basic options, uh, just make sure it's turned on. I prefer the swim line list, uh, it looks a lot cleaner. The group size, um, what I've noticed is this seems to be bugged. It generally, if you selected a group of 12, for example, it disappears. Um, I'm not really sure what's happening with that one, but if you just leave it on two, it generally works fine. Visible swim lines. Now this is um, where you select how many ultimates you want to track. So if there was only six ultimates you wanted to track, you would select six. Uh, if you wanted to track eight, you can select eight. Or if you wanted to track 12, you can track 12. It, it's really down to how many you personally want to track. UI scaling. Uh, this is generally useful if you are tracking more ultimates. So if you're only tracking sort of four ultimates, you may want to kind of up the scaling. But if you're tracking more, then generally you might want to turn the scaling down a little bit just so that it fits on your screen better. Again, the colour scheme is down to yourself. Choose what, what colour it is when it's not ready. Choose what colour it is when it's ready. But personally, with the resources and buffs, I don't have them turned on. Um, it's not really something I need to keep track of. However, if you did want to turn them on, then it is completely up to yourself. And this is what it would kind of look like. They would show you their Magicka and their Stamina. And again, the four buffs that you've selected on the left hand side, they'll light up once they're once they're active and they'll go kind of grayed out when they're not active. But again, on this scale, you may have to scale it up just to see those icons a bit better. The leader settings, um, as I said before, I generally have this turned on. If I'm not the group leader, I like to be able to kind of track where the leader is a lot better. So it allows me to see more visibly um, where he is. Um, the leader arrow, um, I, I generally find that I'm okay staying with the commander, so I turn this off. However, you can turn it on and use that if it's something you wanted to use. Group leader compass, I turn this off, uh, I don't think it's really needed. Group invites, again, I turn this off. It's down to you whether you want to, to use it or not, whether you manually invite people to your group, or whether you have something set up so they can just invite themselves. For the group settings, uh, this is your healing and DPS meter. I generally have it off just because it takes a lot, lot of space on the screen. But again, it is up to yourself whether you leave it on or not. And again, just mess around with the settings. Set up how you want. If you only want one list, one part selected, so if you only want to see heals, you can select on the healing. If you only want to see damage, you can select that as well. And again, the bar colors and stuff. It's then up to you what you do there. but. I generally have it off as my default setting. So, group settings. I personally don't turn this on uh, just because I prefer the way that things look with LUI's group settings. Um, it's generally a lot cleaner for me. It allows me to see what I need. Um, having the two on at the same time just generally clutters up the screen. So again, it's down to you whether you use this or not. Um, it's fairly easy to set up. Select the style that you want to use. Um, and again, if you want to show whether you're tracking food, um, that kind of stuff, it's, it's all there. It's pretty easy to set up through the settings. Now, 
detonations and purging settings. These are the other two that I show on my screen. Um, the only thing I change in these is the bar width. Uh, I change this down to 100 on both of them. It just takes up a little less space on your screen and it's still pretty easy to use. So something that you want to make sure is that your group members have the right ultimate selected. Uh, they can do that with this icon here and just change it to whatever icon they're using. Uh, so my main one that I'm using would be my destruction staff. So I would select that and you'll see down here, it'll then track my progress on the destruction. So once your members have set up what elements they're tracking, um, it's down to you to set up what ones that you as the raid leader or if you're using the element tracker, it's down to you to select what ones you want to track. So generally it's good to kind of track your big damage ones and also some of your heals. So all you would do is select the individual icons at the bottom and just change them to be whatever you want. So again, for myself, I want to track destruction staffs. Um, they're generally big damage output. If you were wanting to track things like dawn breakers, you could track them. If you wanted to track war horns, you can track them. It's really down to you what elements you want to track. And again, in the settings, you can select how many uh, elements you want to track as well. But well, that's it for Tails Group Tools. Um, it's relatively complicated when you kind of look at it first. But once you kind of get through the settings, hide a lot of the screens you don't need, uh, it kind of gets a bit easier. The only things that you really need to keep in mind is that you're tracking the right elements that you want to keep coordinated and that your members select the correct element here. Uh, otherwise, it'll kind of confuse things later on. But any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And again, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you like this video as well.